off the mark with that single and also comes to the end of the first over from Orla. That's through the gap. That's just past that short cover field. It'll be runs here and probably the first boundary of the series and the first game. Nicely driven, short of authority and she found the gap to perfection. That will definitely give Muniva some confidence. It wasn't a bad line but the length pitched up and dealt with nicely. Look at that. Just opening ever so slightly the front foot to maneuver that gap. Timed it beautifully. Just a mere push. This time two full passes that gully fielder but there is a third there. Nicely worked away down square leg and she might just get a boundary here. No, that's well done. Just flicking it back into play. Uh, she played that upish and she's played that in the safe zone. Nicely done. That's a good shot from Muniba. Just working that over square leg for a boundary. Let's create some trouble for the bowlers this time. The length actually allowed her to go aerial. Picked up nicely. The placement was spot on. Again, that length actually helped her. All her. It's been disciplined so far. Bowling in that channel. Just like that, that's uh, worked away with a lot of hard work. Her runs here. She's picked that up from in front of uh, middle and off. Slightly short and it's been pulled away. That will uh, not go to the boundary though. Just didn't time it as she would have liked, but a couple of runs added to the total. Can shorter length and beats that fielder there. Now this one might just go to the boundary and it does. In struggling to hit that length. Just getting a bit of swing, but just straight down the leg again. Freebies with that sort of field. Let's push hard. Beautiful. That is top class. That is quality by Maniba. Four runs. Getting a little bit too full and only half a shuffle. And oh, that is picture perfect, isn't it? Doesn't get any better than that for an opening batter. And that is why Pakistan have won the toss and batted first. There was a little bit of talk, wasn't there, out in the middle. I think Ireland wanted to bowl first, but certainly get through the first. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Gets away with that. It was there to be hit anywhere. She decided to hit it straight to the fielder. That flashy cut. There will be a bit of a chase there. Will be cut off. And the batter has come back for two. So the runs are coming now down the wicket she just uh, covers that over just over that inner circle and it'll go to the boundary so well cashed out free hit four more added to the total four more to Muniba it's 93 for no loss that's a good single but that's the last ball last over not very orthodox but mighty effective Midoff was up in the ring and Muniba and that's what I'm talking about come down the wicket just meet the ball a little early good use of the crease again 50 for Mani Mani and that is 50 for Muni Bali this has really been a polished knock third 50 in ODI cricket is really accelerated when needed and a good exhibition of batting from this young opener well played Aim for bigger landmarks this time again. So I said, you know, trying to beat them in flight again. Miss field again, a full toss again. It's the same result. 20 overs gone, 120 for no loss. Tossed up. Stealing the single, that's what they have been doing impressively. Money Bali and Sidramin. This one's hit away into the leg side. That's going to be a boundary. Very slow through the air, like we talk about Marina. Gets the aerial route over the head of the mid wicket fielder. Good placement. Gets four from Muniba Ali. Oh, you can't bowl her there. That's her strength. Look at that. Just a forward press and goes back into the crease. Capitalizing that gap and the length that actually helped her play that shot. Again shorter and this time it will go all the way over the boundary first six of the innings coming off the bat of Muni Bali well, what a strike wasn't a good delivery drag down certainly and sometimes poor deliveries like this can actually find you the breakthrough 
but Ali has got enough of it to get it over the head. And this time goes Ariel, they've got the fielder, but it'll watch go the ball over her. Another maximum. Leah is struggling to ball against Muniba. This is a very brave decision. I'm going to be generous and call it a brave decision to keep Leah Paul on. Because she didn't get her lengths right. And that's another drag down. It's really a long hop. Of course, not just Ireland, but overall for Pakistan in ODIs. This is the highest partnership. The same pair holds the record of the second highest partnership also for Pakistan. This is just amazing, isn't it? The record breaker. Nicely swept. This will run down the final boundary for four. This is good cricket by Muniba. She's now using the pace of Laura Delany for a boundary. This is Muniba's go-to shot and on this occasion the line helped her. The angle was in her favor. All she had to do was to beat that fielder at 45. Pulled nicely. There is protection. Uh oh, she's just let it go. That's not what you want when you're looking to stop some runs and get wickets. This is exactly what you shouldn't be doing. Yeah, that's pretty average from the Irish girls. Not a good delivery at all, but look at that. And this is not the first time this has happened. I think the pace of the outfield has really surprised these girls. Oh, that was close. Inside edge will earn her a boundary. It will, it does. Sidra Amin. Just catching on some luck. Yeah, for once, Sidra didn't time that one. She's been very, very good through that offside. Clearing her front leg. Just lost her shape a little bit. Lifted her head too soon and then... 99. Down the track she comes. There it is. The first 100 for Munibali in her career. That is a fantastic inning. A very skillful inning by Muniba, the 600 for Pakistan in ODIs and that has been superb and well applauded by the crowd in she deserves all the applaud look at her smile and look at the excitement in the dugout and in the stands an outstanding knock from Muniba down the track it's a big one over the fielder one bounce and over the ropes the role has changed Muniba Ali now using the long handle fantastic Left-hander. And that is going to be the first wicket. Just what Ireland needed. Ema Richardson. It's their highly experienced off-spinner who provides the breakthrough. No great celebrations for them. Munab, Munib Ali has got to 100, but she hasn't got much more. As I welcome Sikander Bat to have a look at this dismissal. A pretty tame ending to a brilliant innings. That's a great innings from uh, Muniba. She's managed to get that 100. What a brilliant opening partnership this. 132 between the two. And finally that breakthrough that was uh, needed and required and looking for it. So some inroads for the Irish team. It's 132 for one.